Choke him. I got him. Choke him. Don't worry, but I got him. What's up, y'all? My name is Ryan Olson with White Bone Creations, and today is August 23rd, 2023, and I am headed to pick up the famous Uncle Bud, and then we are going 1,100 miles to Tatum, New Mexico, to hunt antelope. Come on. Come with us. Hello. Oh. Hello, Bud. <laughs> hello. Say hello. It's me. <laughs> Welcome to New Mexico. Mexico. The White Sands National Park. There's a lot of white sand out there, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're still just broken up little tiny rocks. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just little rocks. Little rocks. All right. Man, it is always good to have Uncle Bud in the truck next to me, headed anywhere. He's the perfect companion on a big, long road trip. We left White Sands National Park and we were headed up country toward Riodoso and it looked like we were gonna get some real weather and that turned out to be true. I'm playing with a new camera today so we set it up on the dash and just let it do its thing. We had mudslides and lightning and all that fun stuff that brings adventure to a very casual hunt. Here it just dry, dry, dry. Dry. Wow. A little different than it was last uh, two years ago, huh? Oh, night and day. One thing's for sure is change. <laughs> it's all right, we'll find them. If it's meant to be, we'll find them. After 15 and a half hours of highway conversation, sorting through all of life's problems, Bud and I arrived at the ranch. We met up with the landowner, got permission slips, squared up, and headed back out. For four years, we have leased this place and had wild success. If you are hunting on a landowner license in the state of New Mexico, you may only hunt deeded land in the zone that you have written permission for. In short, you cannot kill an antelope on public land legally. The way this property is put together, it is very checkerboarded and you have to be really, really specific, utilizing your onyx to know exactly where you are the whole time. New Mexico at the Shamrock. It's opening day. Any, pr yep. any predictions, Uncle Bud? Yep, dead antelope. <laughs> yep, for sure. <laughs> Better than yesterday, huh? Uh, that's a lot better. He's <laughs> uh, color look. Everything was butter. Yeah, yesterday they all looked real dingy, real dirty, and uh, we only saw really one buck that was on us. But this uh, this antelope's nice and sort of migrating from the state back toward us. So target acquired. Yeah. First thing on opening morning, we pulled into this old wellhead where we typically walk up and glass from, and we could see a really nice buck just out there sort of making his way from the public toward the ranch. We were really excited because we didn't see anything in this caliber yesterday, and so we just sat and waited, hoping that he would get on to us. After about 15 minutes of wondering, we drove as close as we could and passed him. He was definitely watching us and wondering what we were doing when we were watching him, wondering what he was doing. The second we got beyond him, he ran as hard as he could toward a few does that were on the property we're allowed to hunt. Once we realized what was happening, we found a way to get between him and his does. With Bud in position, he just does what Bud does. Hey, that one will do it, Uncle Bud. That'll work. My two most unique antelope. Both shot in New Mexico here. What a beaut- I mean, he's just got the coolest look. Hopscotch antelope hunting here in New Mexico. Yeah, that's for sure. You got lucky on this one. Yeah. yeah. 
Let's see. Watched him for quite a while this morning, and anyway, here he is now. Mm-hmm. Super cool. I'm a lucky man. <laughs> Hard work. If you know me, you know I am a diehard Yeti user, and that's all I have ever used. Today, Half Rack is designed a cooler that doesn't really fall into the Yeti lineup. Square top, flat bottom, big rectangular box. I am gonna use it as a meat lug, and I'm gonna put that antelope in this bag, and I'm gonna see if it's worth a darn. What you doing, Uncle Bud? With well, my beautiful antelope in New Mexico. Nice. With Uncle Dick's knife again. Working perfect as always. Love you, Uncle Dick. Thank you so much. Half rack, still got the tag on it. The whole antelope in there. It's got three seven pounders and a seven pounder block. Plenty of room. We'll ice that down. It'll brine its way home. It's nice, it's sturdy. I like that it's sturdy on the bottom. That's my biggest thing. Cool piece, super good price, rugged. We'll see how it does over the next few days. Yeah? Beautiful. Let's, let's go find another one. Nice. After some hard searching and some extreme heat, we come around the corner and standing right on us is a legal buck right on the property and we knew we had to take advantage of the situation. It wasn't about size, it was about opportunity and legality. So here we go, I'm about to fill my tag. So what do you got there, Rhino? Uh, I got the 2023 first antelope of the year. Nice. We, uh, the same place we've been hunting for four years now. Uh, we came in yesterday, we found one antelope that was just a little bit subpar. And uh, so we made a decision early on that we're gonna shoot the first two we see that we get on us, because the hardest part of this is actually getting them on us. And so Bud was on deck, we found a really great antelope this morning, and then we found just another, just little beautiful antelope that gave us a good shot to sort of get him on film, share it with you guys. and. Um, I love them. I've been very, very blessed my whole life to have lots of opportunity to hunt antelope. So um, they're all special to me. And they definitely don't have to be world records. That's a fact. But I love them all and they're delicious. Is by far my family's favorite food. And yep. uh, we just got a whole nother stack to go in the freezer. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Uncle Bud. It's oh, special to me. Thank you. I'm more special meat, I can tell you. Yeah. Thank you always inviting me. We Love you, buddy. What do you say we pull his guts? Hey, Maddie, look at his eyelashes. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. All right. Love you, too. The Pecos truly is like one of the only true like, bulletproof portable tables, man. If a guy's interested in a really kick butt piece of equipment, it's got two inches of adjustment here too. So I could take this foot and I could just extend it. I could kick sand underneath it too, but 3,000 pounds in that son of a gun. Really? Yeah. So you think it'll hold this goat? <laughs> I do. I do. It'll hold them New Mexico goats, that's for sure. <laughs> Y'all, we are gonna jump right into a cooking segment here. If you wanna see this process, the next film I post on Friday is gonna be the quartering process of this animal. Very detailed. In the meantime, let's clean this table and have some lunch. Ice water from the ice chest. Gotta wash it off now because we're having lunch on this thing. So, yeah, and there is, there is drain holes on it. You just, if you had it level, it would be level. Wait. Is that right? No, if you, had, like that. if you had level, it would drain. Right there's the drain. Oh yeah. They were thinking, but you gotta get it level to make it work, so. For a cutting board with it. It's more sanitary than most restaurants I eat at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I had someone recently say, man, you're always cooking that same old steak melt. And I told him, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I will speak for everybody who's ever eaten this thing with me over a tailgate. It is their favorite wild game meal. So what's happening right now, we have one antelope loin diced up tight. We have an onion diced. We have a yellow or an orange bell pepper diced. And we have a seeded in vein serrano diced. And we're going to cook all those vegetables down as far as we can get them. Nice and brown. Then we're going to season up that meat. Put a little Tony Sashri's on it so it's going to add a little spice. And then we're going to throw it in there with them peppers and onions and serrano. And just get it till one side of that steak is brown. Do not try and cook this all the way through. It will go tough on you. From there, we transfer it to a little cup or dish or water bottle or whatever. Then I butter one side of some bread. I put down a little Parmesan, a layer of cheese. Then I add my steak melt stuff and I just brown everything up till it's melted and fallen in love. Pull it off your heat, let it rest a minute, cut it in half and enjoy the hard work. Never miss the opportunity to do a steak melt cheers with a loved one. If you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for the great state of New Mexico. Thank you for pronghorn antelope, AKA the speed goat. Thank you for heat, the know-how and the freezer full of wild protein. And it's in your name we pray, amen.